Susie, Susie Fraser is going next from um, Makertown. Susie and I met in 1999 when she moved to Cleveland. And uh, we've been friends and worked together for a long time. I can tell you that I own four of Susie's artworks and I have them displayed in my home. And I also own her book. And Susie recently hosted CD Pug at her studio when she did a program about designing for wellness. So I'll let the rest of her bio speak for herself. Oh, thank you, Henry. That's good. Thank you, Spike. You guys, I'm learning so much tonight. This is really awesome. I'm sorry I haven't been to these before. It's a good thing that Lauren's here to help me out. I want to have you come to every one of these now. <laughs> Make sure I can see the forest for the trees. That's that's a, is that the right is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but is that oh yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> All right. And are you ready? Are you ready, Susie? Because I'll click the play okay. for the start if you are. Go for it. So I am Susie Frazier. I'm one of the pioneers of the Cleveland's modern day maker movement. I wrote and designed a book called Designing for Wellness. And last year, to my surprise, it won about five literary awards. I'm uh, also the proud owner of an Emmy for a TV pilot I produced and hosted called Movers and Makers with Susie Frazier. I did have some conversations with HGTV for about four months, but ultimately they passed on picking up the show. In 1997, since then, um, I started my business in 97. I've sold about 20,000 of my creations and um, I have a patent pending on one of the items here that's on this slide. Today, I specialize in biophilic artwork for hospitals, hotels, corporations, and I'm currently working on three large pieces for a 16,000 square foot home in Brexville. My work and design philosophies have been featured in media outlets around the world. I'm also a contributing writer to Organic Spa Magazine, Thrive Global, and Hers Magazine. One of my hanging planter designs that went viral on Pinterest also ended up in a Dutch magazine, so that's kind of fun. For the past 10 years, I've run a retail showroom on the first floor of 78th Street Studios, and in it, I feature a lot of handmade items by other makers from around the country and locally. I also uh, can tell you that a lot of us were really struck hard by the COVID-19 pandemic, and we realized we didn't have a mobile platform that people could use to find all of us during this uh, outbreak, so I decided to invent one. MakerTown is a tech enterprise that I built, and it builds momentum for local maker communities. And we do it through our new technology, our outdoor markets, and the advocacy that I work on. We are your trusted source for connecting to all things maker related across the region. So what our platform does is it prevents, presents all types of makers at a glance. And people usually think of it as a very interactive visual yellow pages that's just for the maker sector, but we don't do any commerce on it. It's uh, all directed to people's websites. There are a lot of stats around the maker economy. It is bigger than we think, but we are super proud of the fact that this app is the first and only directory app in the nation for exploring the local maker community, not just here, but anywhere. We've launched in Cleveland and we are um, expanding into, I think go back a slide, uh, Spike. Um, the interface I think has a lot of features, but mostly what you'll see is local artists and um, they are all, sorry. Is that the right know, one? I don't know where you are, that's okay. Um, on this particular app, you're gonna see about 600 plus makers from all across Northeast Ohio. And there's an interface that allows you to explore everything from seeing what kind of events you can attend, workshops you can try, and places that you can go with directions for your map. So um, in the actual scene of the maker movement, you'll find that it's mostly women that are running a lot of these businesses. A lot of them are not on a physical location. And you can only find them through their online stores or through um, their pop-ups. Since we launched last November, there's been about 3,600 people who've downloaded the app. They've been really heavily looking into all the profiles that are featured there. And then they've clicked out to the maker's websites almost 10,000 times. Now, seven months later, we've found ourselves building connections between national brands and makers of this region. And um, that's thanks to our growing social influence. 
So on a regular basis, I'm out there advocating for small businesses in the arts. I work with local media and different arts agencies to really make sure that makers are recognized for their cultural contributions and are part of the marketing story of our region. This is a commercial we ran last winter on about 30 different Spectrum TV channels. Why do you need the MakerTown app? Well, shopping just feels better when you buy from local people who make things by hand. And sometimes you just need to know where to find unique jewelry for a special gift or handcrafted furniture for your new place. Imagine having a way to filter by product or price to see which Cleveland makers you can buy from or search on a map to discover artisan places you can explore from the comforts of your own home. Link to the local goods you love with MakerTown. So this Sunday, we're actually launching another way to connect to the maker community, not just virtually, but an actual physical outdoor market. Uh, the Maker Town Markets ro uh, run every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., Memorial Day through Labor Day. And we do this with Saucy Brew Works at their Vibe Garden in Hingetown. So it's going to be a lot of fun. This is the Maker Town team, a group of freelancers that helped me launch all of this. And um, super grateful for these guys that are all very talented. We love hearing feedback. So if you're interested after you download the app and you want to rate it, we really appreciate it. We'd also love it if you'd like to follow us on social and join our mailing lists. So I'm happy to share any details with you guys about the business model or other ways that we work with different community groups and uh, makers directly. Thank you. <laughs> I think what you've done with the, your app is it looks beautiful and it's to me it seems like something that's um, really needed and could be it, I think it's going to be very successful. You definitely are getting the word out, which is great. Well, and we're so excited because we're expanding uh, not just in Cleveland, but we're adding Columbus makers now as we speak. So when you download the app, you will eventually see uh, an option to choose regions, just like you would use a weather app. So the, the possibilities are endless if you're thinking about travel or you have family or friends in another market and they wanna explore the maker movement. <laughs>